I'm Jeff Shiver, Managing Principal with People and Processes. Today I want to give you some thoughts around using schedule compliance as a metric and driving the wrong behaviors with it. What do you mean by that, Jeff? Well, I see some organizations, what happens is they actually tie schedule compliance to supervisor pay, their incentive pay. And, well, okay, is that a bad thing? Well, it really is because now you're forcing that supervisor to make a choice between his wallet and doing the right things for the business. For example, maybe I've got an emergency work order that comes in and is actually more important than the work I've got on the schedule. Well, now you're making that supervisor choose between, okay, do I actually do this emergency work and break the schedule, which is going to hurt my schedule compliance number, or do I just ignore the emergency and deal with the schedule compliance and try to make schedule compliance? That's not what we really want. The goal is it's okay to break the schedule. We want to make sure we do it for the right reasons, though. Again, we're trying to make sure we drive towards schedule compliance, but if something comes up that's more important, by all means, we're working on priority, based on priority. So we want to do what's most important for the business. Hope the tip helps. I'm Jeff Shiver. People and Processes, have a great day.